This lesson will follow on from the previous section's example about leverage at 100 to 1. In that lesson, I explained that if you were to buy one lot of the Great British Pound, you would need 146,327 US dollars. To gain the same market exposure, you could use leverage at 100 to 1 to borrow 99% of the money from the broker and provide 1% of the money in your account, or $1,463 to open this position. This $1,463 represents the margin held for the position. Let's take a look at that in a $5,000 trading account, which is a typical amount that many traders open up with initially. If you were to buy one lot of the Great British Pound, the margin held would be $1,463. The remaining amount in the account would become what's called free margin. Free margin can be calculated by taking the equity in the account and subtracting the margin held, giving a total free margin of $3,537. Now what would happen if the position went against you once you were in the trade? Let's say $200 as an example. The margin held would still remain the same, and it is important to note that the margin held will not change because you still have the same contract size open. However, the free margin will change to reflect a negative $200. If you take the initial free margin and subtract the $200 that you are currently down, the total free margin will change to $3,337. This would mean that if the position was closed, you could calculate the equity as free margin plus margin held, which would leave a remaining balance of $4,800. Now let's see what happens if the position goes $500 against you. Once again, the margin held does not change. The free margin will now become $3,037, and the equity if you were to close this position would now become $4,500. Now let's take a look at what would happen if the position really turns against you, which is not ideal, but could happen. If the position went $3,537 against you, so effectively all of the free margin, the margin held would still remain the same. However, the free margin would go to zero, and it would mean that if you were to close the position, the equity remaining would be $1,463. If you do not close the position, your broker will send you what is called a margin call notice. And if the position doesn't improve, or if you don't add additional funds to your account, your position will be automatically stopped out by the broker. Now let's take a look at what happens if the trade goes in your favor by $500. The margin held will remain the same. However, the free margin this time will be calculated by taking the initial amount and then adding $500 which would give you a free margin amount of $4,037. It would also mean that if you close the position at this time, your account balance would be $5,500, a profit of $500.